Hello, everybody. My name is Wesley Cable, and I want to welcome you back to Creativity Next, my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a piece of software that I just downloaded a couple of weeks ago that's saving me a ton of time on my podcast, and it's helping me grow my audience exponentially. All right, so here it is. The program I'm talking about that I downloaded a couple of weeks ago is called Cast Magic. And I stumbled upon this when I was looking through AppSumo deals. And I have a podcast. For those who don't know, I've got a podcast that's been going for about two years now. And I'm always looking for a way to help speed up the process and make my job easier and to grow my audience. And as you know, as a podcaster, growing your audience is difficult. So this tool makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how that works. So this is Cast Magic. So uh, the nice thing about it is it is on sale on our AppSumo for on a lifetime deal right now. And I'll put a link down in the description. Just click on that and you can check it out for yourself. But as you can see here, you can for $117 and that's for three codes. I believe you get about 600 minutes of downloading of content downloaded uh, we're using this program a month and that resets every month so it's not just 600 it's 600 every month uh, but if you don't need that many that's okay you can get this one code plan and it's 39 bucks for I believe 200 minutes so if that works more for you know what you're trying to do then that will work better for you so let me just run down here and just give you a quick overview of cast magic so here are some of the things that it can do so it does transcripts for you so all you do is you download your episode into the program. It will create a transcript for you in minutes, and it's awesome. So like I said earlier, I've had my podcast for a couple of years, and I've never done transcripts. And it's not because I never wanted to or I didn't understand their value, but I just didn't have the time or the means to do that. So this is going to... Uh, uh, this program is going to create those transcripts for me so that I can just put them into my podcast uh, platform and they're and they're there for people to see. OK, not only does it do transcripts, but it also does show notes. So I'll show you that in a second. Just some really cool notes that it does for you. It does really good summaries of your episodes. So. If you finish up an episode and you want to put it into your podcast pr uh, provider, whoever it is, and under your episode description, this does a great job using AI of putting that together for you. So the last and final thing is social content. So this is where that really is a game changer is this program will help you create excellent social content so that you can help grow your show on social media. Now, it would be great if all of us had hours and hours of time to pro, you know, promote our show and all that stuff, but the reality is most of us are doing this on our own time. So this program is really gonna save you a ton. So I'm gonna show you how this works and how you do it using my own podcast. Cast magic here so you, I can show you exactly how this works. So on the left here, you can see this is my podcast, Obsessed with Wine. That's the name of my podcast. And these are all the episodes that I've used this for. Now, what I did was, like I said, I never did any of this stuff before for my podcast, which is probably why it wasn't growing as well as I wanted it to. So what I've used this tool for is I've gone back to all of my old episodes brought them into this program, got my transcripts, put them onto my podcast platform. And actually just by putting the transcripts and making some adjustments to the titles, I've seen a huge increase in downloads, which I didn't think was possible. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So right here, I'm going to go over to this where it says upload files. So you can upload an MP3 of your episode, or you can do it from a YouTube video. I'm only going to do it from uh, the podcast. So I'm going to click upload files. And then I've got one saved down here already that I want to add. So I'm going to drag this in here and drop it in. So what this is going to do now is it's going to read the podcast, it's gonna download the episode for me here, and then when it's done, we can move on. Cast Once it's Magic downloaded here. my episode, this little box will come up. So it allows you to add a number to your episode. I just leave it at whatever it says. So I'll leave this at 13. I leave the title as is. I don't want to put anything in there because I, I could change it later. And I'm going to leave it at English. Um, right here it says Magic Words. So you have the option to put more Magic Words in here that are relevant to that episode. I normally don't do that because, like I said, I'm trying to save some time. So I'm going to click on Save Episode. 
And then you can see right here, it's downloading this episode and it says processing. And right now is when it's actually reading the podcast and putting together my transcript and everything else. So let me let that finish and then I'll show you what that looks like. So now you can see here, it took about three or four minutes. So that's not long at all. So you can see here that my episode is ready. You can see that it says completed. And so I'm going to click on this and let's take a look and see what it did for us. So the first thing you're going to notice here is that you've got the whole episode right here. If you want to play it, this particular interview that I did with somebody for my show was about an hour and five minutes. So that's how long this episode was. So the first thing you want to do is just to finish your transcript is you're going to want to add the name of the speakers in right here. So I'm going to click on this speaker A and I just read the text here. It tells me who it is that said, you know, whatever they said here. And I'm going to go ahead and put me in there because that's me, the host. And then B, I can see here that I know this is the guest here. So I'll go ahead and add new speaker and I'll put her name. Okay, and she is a guest, and then I'm saving it. Okay, so now that that's done, you can see our transcript is all finished. So it's read and, and divvied up all of the content for this hour long episode, and it's done it for me here in a matter of a couple of minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to Buzzsprout. This is where I do my podcasting. So I'm gonna go to add transcript, then I'm going to go back over to Cast Magic, and I'm going to download the SRT file. So I'm going to click on that, and then you can see down here in the box at the bottom, it's downloaded my SRT file. I'm going to go back to Buzzsprout. I'm going to drag. Oops, sorry, I can't drag it yet. I got to click Upload SRT. I'm going to drag it in there. Letter rip. And that's it for that. So it's going to process my transcript for me. So in a matter of minutes here, it'll already be added to my podcast episode. So that's already done. So if I had a transcript in like a matter of a couple of minutes here. So a couple of awesome features like we were just talking about are just the AI things that this can do. Now, as you can see, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the system to generate it depending on how busy it is. So it says right here, it says experiencing delays, be patient, our service is a little backed up right now. So I'm just gonna wait another minute here and then when this is ready, I'm gonna show you all these cool things that this can. So now you can see, okay, so it took a few minutes there but we've got our content here. So I'm gonna show you this really cool AI content that got created here by Cast Magic. So the first thing, and I use this all the time, is when I originally started my podcast, I had no idea how important the actual title was for people to click and listen to my show. So I just put a generic title in there. I think I used like an episode number and a name or something like that, just something really simple. So what Cast Magic will do for you is it'll take your podcast episode and it'll generate some really cool click worthy titles that you can use for your uh, episode. So what I've been doing with some of my previous episodes is I've been just picking some of these great titles and changing them in my podcast. So I'm going to just look through here and I really like this one. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this here. I'm going to go over to my podcast episode and I'm going to update it. So let me just take this out here and add that and save it. And that takes care of that. All right, so I updated my title. Now, I don't know if it's adding the transcripts or adding the titles or some of these other things that I've been doing, but I've seen a huge increase in people that are downloading these episodes, especially some of these older ones that haven't been downloaded in a little while. So uh, I think this is really gonna help you with your podcast as well. So the next thing down here is it's got some keywords. So these are keywords that the program cast magic picked up from our content from our episode and so what i like to do with these is i like to copy these and put them down in my description so i'm going to go ahead and edit my podcast here and i use buzzsprout but you can use you know pretty much anything you want so i'm going to just go down and add these keywords in so that people can find this episode. So uh, let me go back now to Cast Magic. Okay, so the next thing is it gives you a speaker bio. So it's already listened to the episode. So it knows in this 
uh, episode here, what the episode is all about, and it gives you a bio for the speaker. So if you create a website or if you have a blog or something that you use to promote your podcast, you can just copy this and drop it right into there about your particular speaker for that episode. Uh, the other thing is this introduction. So like I said before, I never used to take a lot of time and write thought out um, episode descriptions for my episodes. So what I like to do now is this program, Cast Magic, actually creates these for me. So it's going to give me three choices, and it's just going to tell you about you know the podcast. It's it's a little introduction that you can use. So what have I've been doing is I've been taking this, and let's say this is the one I like. I'll just copy this. I'll take it over to Buzzsprout, and I'll just drop it in there, and I'll save it. And now I've updated my episode description with something that's actually really well written. So uh, you don't have to do that. Um, what I usually will do is I'll go back and just kind of tweak it a little bit more to the way I want it. But just for today, I just wanted to show you that. The next thing is they have some time stamped overviews. So this is cool. So when you're trying to promote your podcast, this tells you exactly where these certain things are are these pieces of information. They're all timestamped, so you can go back to the audio, go right to it. If you wanna cut out a section for say promotion or something like that, it looks like it's given me a couple of pages here that of that content that I can use, okay? Now, questions and answers. Now, if you do any kind of blogging, you know that the importance of questions and, and answers. Not only is it great for content on your blog, but it also gives you the opportunity to qualify for featured snippets with Google and help really bring in that traffic. So if you do that part, you've got questions and answers from the actual episode already. So you can just copy this or just copy the ones that you want to. You can drop them into your blog post, uh, however you want to do that. Um, and that's a really cool feature. All right, so topics, key topics and bullets. So here's some more, ep it's like a, basically an episode summary talking about um, each section of the podcast, what was gone over during that time, which you can use however you want to, okay? Now, the other thing here is called Clip Finder quotes, hooks, and timestamps. So this is really cool because what it does is it takes some really interesting quotes out of the episode and it puts them in here for us and it timestamps them so we know where to find them. So what you can do is you can go to your podcast episode, you can carve out these quotes here if you wanna use them, say like in an audio format for promoting your podcast, or if you wanted to maybe just put the quotes in social media so that people can read them. There's all kinds of things you can do with that. And so this comes in really handy. So what I've been doing is I've been copying these and I've been using them to promote the show just on social media. So, and that's actually really helped me get more listeners. So you also got a real script here. So it's created a real script. So if you do Instagram reels, then this gives you a quick script that you can do. You turn on your video, go through this script and post it. And it's really good for promoting your podcast. It comes up with some LinkedIn posts. So as you know, LinkedIn is a huge social media platform. So uh, I use it all the time for promoting my podcast, just this, the nature of the show itself. And so here are some LinkedIn posts that you can use. And there's basically three pages of content that I can use for future LinkedIn posts to promote this episode. Now, the next one here is a newsletter. So for those of you who collect email addresses and you have an email newsletter that you send out to your, uh, you know, your listeners before an episode comes out or whenever you do that, this puts together a newsletter for you about the episode. So let's say your episode comes out on a Friday. You can copy this one of the, you know, or tweak it any way you want it and email it out to your listeners and let them know that this Friday or whatever, there's a new episode coming and this is what it's about, just to gain some momentum so that when you release the episode, more people will be familiar with it and ready to jump on it. So I like this piece and I'm gonna start doing this with my email newsletter uh, pretty soon with this week's episode, okay? The next thing here is a Twitter thread. So Twitter, as you know, is a huge uh, social media platform that podcasters use to promote their shows. This gives you the opportunity of some Twitter threads here that you can use for Twitter for promoting this particular episode, which is super awesome. So there's looks like there's three pages of Twitter threads here. So we've got some Twitter content, 
We've got a newsletter for our email list. We've got a LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn post here, an Instagram reel. We've got some clips that we can use for social media, an episode summary, questions and answers for our blog if we do that, and time-stamped overview, an excellent introduction we can use for our show notes, a bio, a bio of our speaker, whoever we had on the episode, keywords, and of course, the awesome titles. Now, that's not it. There's one more thing I want to show you about Cast Magic that's really cool that I've been using is this magic chat feature. Now, if you're familiar with some of these AI writing tools that are available out there like ChatGPT or Jasper or things like that, this acts a lot like that, okay? But it's only going to focus on your episode. So what you can do is you type down here what you want Cast Magic to produce for you and it will produce that for you, okay? So for example, write 10 episode title suggestions. So if you don't like the ones that it already gave you, it'll give you 10 more. Write a blog post for this episode. So it'll take all the content that you got in this episode and create a blog post using that information, okay? You can write a series of questions that someone might ask about this episode and provide answers for each. So it will do that for you. And what are some key takeaways from this episode? So you really can get creative in this part of the magic chat. You can ask it to do whatever you want. It'll take the data from your episode and create some content for you. So what I'm going to do is just to show you what this looks like, I'm going to go ahead and do this right blog post for this episode. So let's do that and let's see what happens. Now, for me, I've got a website, obviously, for my podcast, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. And you know how valuable having a blog on that website is for getting traffic to your podcast? So this is a great way of creating a blog post that you can just drop on your website in a couple of minutes here and take advantage of that traffic. So just in just a second, we're gonna have a fully written blog post about our podcast episode that we can add into our content. So let's just wait a second and there it is. So here is the command, write a blog post for this episode. I think it maybe took 30 seconds or so, but we've got a nice blog post that we can use or at least a nice skeleton of a blog post. So we can f tweak it any way that we want to. Uh, we could ask for more commands if we want to, you know, lots of stuff, you know, that we can do there. So. That's Cast Magic. I mean, it is a fabulous program for podcasters. And like I said before, anybody who does everything on their own, like me, I record all the episodes, I do all the interviews, I reach out to all the guests, I do all the social media and all the promotion stuff. And I can buy this, which I already have, but I can buy this for 39 bucks. I can keep it forever and it can do a great job for my podcast. So like I said before, I'll put a link down in the description so you could take advantage of this as well. If you have any questions or comments about using Cast Magic, then go ahead and type them and, and I will make sure to get back to you on those. But I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful and I hope it helps you grow your podcast like it's been helping me. Thank you.